Okay, so last Friday, a door plug on an Alaska Airlines plane blew right off just minutes after they took off, causing various pieces of debris to fall from the sky. Now we are hearing from the Portland man who discovered that door plug in his backyard. Sharin Roger joins us with more. I'm sure he had a lot to say, Sharin. I mean, Angie, how wild is this story, right? I mean, from the passenger's point of view, terrifying. But at the time of the blowout, the plane was traveling over Oregon at more than 400 miles per hour, more than three miles above the ground. And yet, when Bob Sawyer found the door plug in his backyard, it was still fully intact. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened on the street, as far as I know. I guess exciting is one way to say it. Uh, Bob said that he sent photos to the NTSB and they came to pick it up Monday morning. He wasn't the only neighbor to find something in his yard. His next door neighbor found a seat's headrest. About a mile away, a man found an iPhone with its screen still working. The big question is, how did these items actually survive a three-mile drop? Well, fortunately, Sawyer happens to be a physics teacher and shared these thoughts. A physics A class, we just finished talking about impulse and momentum, so that that comes up as well. Um, the trees acted like, a, like an airbag. They were more interested in my story than the physics for today anyway, but uh, some of my colleagues were wondering how soon this is going to make it onto one of my tests. Meantime, the NTSB is investigating the incident. All Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes that use door plugs have been temporarily grounded for further inspection. I have so many questions here. Uh, first of all, imagine, guys, if that would have hit somebody on the ground, mm -hmm. it would have been deadly for sure. Um, Boeing stock has dropped naturally because of this. Right. And imagine the passengers on that plane uh, when they didn't know what was happening and they just see a huge hole in the plane side. Yeah, I mean, one dude's wow. shirt got totally ripped off yeah. and sucked out. Listen, in the physics, I'm no mm -hmm. physicist, but if they were at cruising altitude, it would have taken full-blown bodies out. I yeah. mean, it's really scary. I just want to know how here. that iPhone didn't have a crack on it. If I drop the thing right here off this table, <laughs> it's going to crack. Sure. It yeah. looked like it was yeah. intact. Three-mile drop, by the way. Must have hit a lot of trees along the way, <laughs> exactly. according to, to his theory. Whatever so. that screen protector was or that <laughs> case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. All right, guys. wrap around the thing. Thank right. you, Sharin. Sure. Here's